Well, I got one more tag for Tennessee. It's been burning a hole in my pocket. And I got a couple of days that I could go hunt. So I jumped in the truck, headed back to Tennessee. I'm gonna see if I can get one more bird. I've got a few more hours of driving. I hope that I can make it there for dark and find somewhere to camp. If not, I may be sleeping in the truck tonight. Next couple of days, supposed to be good weather. So maybe I can get on something. All right, here we go. It's my first morning back in Tennessee. Had to sleep in the truck last night so I couldn't find anywhere to stay. But that wasn't that bad. Well, I heard one guy one time. There was a hen fly down and she pitched down. He got one time at her. But the pressure definitely has picked up. I know just in this one co is three other boats. And this boat zooming all over the lake, all over the river. Listen. So I'm gonna make the climb up here atop this hill. See if I can find him. Maybe he'll get fired up. Or, or maybe once I get up there, I can hear another one. All right, so I decided to come back around. Get on the other side of the ridge he's on. He's on this ridge, right here. He's on the other side of it. This ridge kind of comes out to a point. I'm gonna try to drop down on this side. He's about middle ways down it. So I'm gonna try to drop down on this side and keep this little point in between me and him. Get on his level and kind of work my way around the end of it. And hopefully can call him around the end. Same place that Kayla killed her second bird last weekend. I saw a good bit of turkey sign coming up on this side. So I'm hoping he hadn't worked his way around and will see me. I hope he stays on that side because that's the last place I called from. There's a little flat down here. I hope I can make it to that flat without spooking him. I'll have a chance at him. I hadn't heard him gobble. The only time he's gobbles when I've called to him. So I'm gonna wait and try to get down here with him before I call again. I better get after it and get down there. I'll come up down this ridge and I top the hill. As soon as I top the hill, he gobbled. He's in his bottom. It's been steep all the way around. So I don't know a good way to get to him. So I got as low as I could on this ridge where it's still halfway flat and it's not real thick. It's open, there's a bunch of turkey sign here. So I'm gonna sit down and call for a little while. But the wind is whooping now. I don't know that I could hear him if he gobbled now. I don't know if he could hear me. I'm gonna sit here for a while. I may go back to the boat come in on the other side of him or I may just leave and go find something else maybe so I'm on the wrong side of the river here the wind is terrible well I made it back down to the boat and it is rough down here I never did hear that bird gobble again I sat there for about an hour calling off and on and listening I'm up. I may try him one more time. I may get on the other side of this ridge and come up. There's a little pocket in there. But I feel like it's gonna be out of the wind. I believe that's where he's at. I may I may circle around and try him one more time. I might go down the river and try to get out of this wind. Eat me a snack. See if I can find something else. There's one further in. There's one right down here on the edge of the water. There's a deer blowing at me behind me. <laughs> I mean, that thing is right there. It's one of 
birds I went after this morning. And I thought the first time he gobbled, he was on the other side of the cove. And the second time he gobbled, I was pretty sure he was on the side of the cove I went after him on. Walked all in there and never heard him. And I guess he was on the other side of the cove. That's where he's at now. about 4.45, fix to put the boat in. Go after them birds I roosted yesterday. Got a little bit of a boat ride. I'm running just a little bit late. I'm gonna try to get in there and get up above that closest one before it gets daylight. Thing about carrying my bow this morning, I wish I knew how it was laid out in there. Just how steep it was where he's at. I may carry it first. If things don't work out like a plan, I may ditch the bow and grab my shotgun. But I'm gonna get in there, see you when it gets daylight. That's a good thing I brought my brought the 410 for backup. He circled up high on the hill. And I drew when he come behind a tree. But him coming downhill on me, I was kind of stuck out. And there was one limb in the way, and I thought I was up high enough to get over it. But I think I centered it. Look like my arrow in a hundred pieces. Luckily, he ran out there and stopped. And I had this 410 laying next to me because if I had to get up and move, I didn't want to climb back down this mountain and get it out of the boat. So I just towed it up here with me, laid it over here beside me. And luckily, he ran out there and stopped and picked his head back over the hill.
can't believe I called that thing over here away. I know he had, I know there was two or three hands over there. I guess he thought since this one was out away from the others, he was gonna come gather her up. I see it, tagged out in Tennessee. I'll be able to get on the road here in just a minute. Head back to Mississippi. Let's go out here and look at him. Sucker was roosted right down there over this hill. Yesterday morning he was up over the next hill. But right there where he was roosted, that's where I call from the boat. So I don't know if it was just a I don't know if it was just a coincidence. Or he come in here looking for me yesterday. Whew. Dang, I wish I could have gotten my bow. One limb was in the way. I don't even know if I got the shot on camera or not. I'm going to see if I can find my arrow. I'm going to get packed up. Get back to the boat and get out of here. <laughs> 